Hi, I'm Hans Beekaert, the sales specialist for Microsoft Surface here at Ingram Micro, and this is the Surface Duo 2. So let's have a look at this device. It's a very compelling box. You can already see a nice image of the device here. Here's the device itself, very easy to get it out. Let's put it on the side uh, for now. What else is in here? You have some documentation, basic buttons, and what they do. Here you also have a USB-C cable. What you do not have is a charger, a separate charger. So I'll talk a little bit uh, more about that later, but uh, very interesting to know for your customers that you should uh, provide that. Now, the Duo itself, let's open it up and remove this protective layer. This is also not plastic. I like to see that. Less uh, non-recyclable uh, trash. So, in terms of uh, the history of the Surface Duo line, um, some of you may know that um, I think a year and a half ago now, uh, the Surface Duo version 1 uh, was launched. Um, it's a new form factor. Uh, it brought really a new form factor to the market. Now with uh, version 2, many things are improved. And what you need to know about Surface Duo 2, it's more than a phone. I would call it an upgrade to your phone. It's a dual screen mobile productivity device that fits in your pocket. Now, what is the huge benefit and the huge number one selling point of this device is of course the dual screens that you have here. Now, why would you want that in your pocket, you may ask? Or why would your customer want that in your pocket? Well, just think about the setup of a laptop in a docking mode, in a scenario where you have an external monitor and how that enables you to multitask and to work on two things at the same time and be able to, uh, to speed up your workflow. Well, you can do exactly the same thing here, uh, but it fits in your pocket. So that's really a clear advantage of the Duo uh, 2 compared to regular, uh, let's say, slate type of uh, mobile devices. Now, one uh, very uh, interesting thing to notice here, this is a Microsoft device. It is not running a Microsoft OS. This is running Google's Android. Now, you may ask, why did they do that? Well, they found out that people who have a mobile device like this, to carry around with them everywhere, they want the flexibility to be able to install all the apps that they want. And you can get really the best from Microsoft here with the hardware and then also the software, of course, with Microsoft's own apps on the Google Play Store. Um, combined with that flexibility of all the other apps in the in the Google Play Store, which is a very popular mobile platform, of course. Now, in terms of the look and feel, as soon as, as you get it out of the box, you will notice that it is really a surface device level uh, type quality going on here. Um, it's, it's available in two colors. This is the uh, graphite color. You also have it in the white or glacier color. Uh, the hinge itself is very sturdy. You can see if I move it around, it barely uh, moves. It really feels uh, very solid and uh, that's not going to break at all. What I really love about this device is again here the flexibility, uh, the different postures that you can use this device in. So what I've been showing you so far is the book mode. You can use two apps at the same time. You can create an icon to launch two apps at the same time. In this case, a OneNote and uh, my Edge browser here. Then you have Compose mode. Let me just go ahead and quickly open my Outlook app here. So let me show you. This way you have the keyboard on the bottom half of the screen and then the email itself in this case on the top part. So you really have like a small little laptop. You can fold it a little bit like this. I'm just showing you so you can see it and you can uh, use the whole uh, screen real estate uh, uh, for the keyboard there on the bottom part. I really uh, love that uh, mode a lot. Then you have a dual landscape mode. So this is really interesting, I think, especially for websites. That's if you put it like this. And you really have a, a very big overview. It's an 8.3 inch tablet, essentially like this. You have a great overview of the whole website. 
uh, which is also a great uh, uh, way to consume that content or to look something up. And again, it's amazing to me that this eight inches tablet, it really just fits in your, in your pocket. So really a uh, powerful way to use that. You have a single screen mode, so you can fold the screen all the way around to the other side. And what you can notice about this, it's quite wide, but it's actually very useful, I think, because again, you get a good overview of the website that you are using or the app that you're using, for example, for YouTube as well. If you are watching something on there, you don't even have the necessi necessity to flip it like this. The screen is so wide that actually the content is pretty watchable uh, like this as well. Then you have tent mode, where you put it like a little tent. Let's see if you can see that here. Yeah, I'll put it like this. This is the tent mode. Great for uh, uh, taking video calls, also for entertainment purposes, obviously. The peak mode, huh? because when it's closed, there is no obvious screen that you can see uh, right away. There is something though, I'll tell you about that later. But peak mode is really when you peek inside the device, you will see here, let me show you. Yep, you can see uh, the time if you have any other notifications, for example. And then lastly, they also have the glance bar. See if I can show you that here. So actually this here is transparent and they use the curved edges of those screens to show you uh, the time, for example. Another cool feature about this glance bar is when you plug in uh, a charger, it will actually show you here with a, a big bar how full the device is, which is, I think, a really creative way uh, to use that, uh, that feature. You can see missed calls, texts, and also if someone calls you, this will uh, light up. One other one, it's not an official one, but let's say it's one that I uh, like to use a lot, is the upright mode. So you can just put it on a table like that. With most phones, you would need a case or a stand or something like this. This one, you can just prop it down while you, you may have been watching something or doing whatever. Sometimes when I do my workout, uh, you can launch your workout uh, and music at the same time like this. You just keep track of your music and uh, your workout like this without the phone risking uh, to, to, to drop over or something to damage it. Now, the displays. You have two beautiful uh, OLED displays running at 90 hertz refresh rate, which really gives you a very smooth experience of uh, the OS here. On a single screen, uh, the aspect ratio is a 13 by 9 with a resolution of 1344 by 1892. If you combine the screens, for example, in this book mode, you can get an 8.3 uh, inch display in total with a resolution of 2688 by 1892. The screen is very bright. Uh, it can go up to 800 nits and it is made from gor Gorilla Grass on the inside as well as the outside. Now, of course, in order to really uh, take advantage of these two screens, some apps, they are really optimized for uh, the device. For example, Microsoft's own Outlook, you can span it across uh, two screens and easily view mails on one side or a calendar. And on the other side, you can see uh, the email or the, the contents of the, the meeting, for example, if you're using the calendar. For Teams, it's also great if you're in a Teams call, uh, you could have the Teams chat on one side and then the video or the content that the presenter is sharing on the other side. Great feature. The camera app also. Let me just uh, see if I can demonstrate that here. If I take a picture I'm just doing right now, you can see immediately the result of that picture on the other side. Let me take another one. You can see the result again and you can go back and forth between those pictures, which I think is really uh, a fun and a very fast way of doing that. A very cool app that is really optimized is uh, Amazon uh, Kindle. Let me just go ahead and span that here so I can show you the complete experience for that. So you might think it's like an e-reader, but they really did a good job with animating this, that it, it really goes through the pages just like a book. I really love this. If you're into reading, uh, you have enough of all these videos. This is a great device uh, to do it on. Xbox for some uh, relaxation, for some entertainment. The Xbox app features uh, streaming from the cloud. You can have really 
uh, immersive, uh, heavily uh, graphic games streaming on this device. And you actually keep it like this, where the controls are on the bottom, just like a mini, uh, let's say, a sort of a Game Boy or a PSP. And then the game itself is on the top screen here. And who knows what the developers might still uh, come up with uh, for use cases uh, for these screens, but already a lot of really good uh, stuff there. You have some gestures, uh, so Microsoft really uh, did some efforts to optimize uh, some of the gestures here. For example, you can uh, span an app across two screens very easily like this. Uh, you can move an app from one screen to the other just by dragging it like this. And if you want your uh, all your apps, your app drawer, you can just move it up, for example. Really cool gestures there. In terms of specs, what we have here for the CPU is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 CPU, which really provides for a very fluid and smooth experience, especially with that 90 Hz uh, refresh rate uh, screen. All the devices, the configs, they come with 8 gigs of RAM for the multitasking. They have 5G support, uh, the devices, and also NFC built in for those wireless payments and what have you not. What I also really like and I use a lot is the built-in fingerprint reader. So it's actually built into the power button. So while you press power, it actually unlocks. It's very accurate. It's very fast. Also handy if you have to authenticate for a banking app or, or some other apps, perhaps. Um, now let's talk about the cameras because this was a bit of a weak point in the version one of the Duo. Now they have really took care of that. They have a camera bump here with some beautiful lenses. You have a 12 megapixel wide lens. 12 megapixel telephoto and a 16 megapixel ultra wide lens. And I have some sample pictures uh, that I can share in the uh, description. Uh, we have stereo uh, speakers on this. Uh, you have the speaker here and here. Um, it really gives you a nice, uh, a nice sound quality. Um, you have an all day battery life with 4,449 milliamp hour battery. And I have to say, even when using it intensely, uh, when doing some Teams calls and stuff like that, in the at the end of the day, I always have some uh, some percentages left. Just charge it at night, and, uh, and you're good to go. By the way, the engineers did a really amazing job with this battery here because there's actually two batteries, and they are connected through this hinge to a very special uh, thin cable um, to connect both batteries and both screens. So amazing uh, engineering here. Now, in terms of the pricing. It starts at 1649 and user for the 128 gig model and goes all the way up to 1949 for the 512 uh, model. Now for Surface Duo 2, there are some really nice official accessories. So the Slim Pen 2 being uh, one of them. It's a, uh, a digital pen that you can use on the screen. For example, here in OneNote, I can directly annotate on the screen visually communicate whatever I'm trying to communicate. And the back side of, the, of the, the pen here is also the eraser. It's a separate uh, accessory uh, sold separately. So a nice cross sell uh, there. Then you can also magnetically attach the pen to the device. It's quite sturdy. But if you want to go a step further, there is also the pen cover. So this one will protect the front of the device as well as the edges with bumpers. And uh, not only will the pen uh, even attach more strongly than it does here, but it will also charge your uh, pen via induction. So a very nice accessory there. Then uh, another one that I would really always recommend when you are suggesting the Duo is the USB-C 23 watt uh, quick charger. A very handy one for the users to have then next to their uh, on their bed stand, uh, so to speak, uh, enable to be able to charge the device because this one is not included in the in the product. Uh, box. And by the way, you get a really long uh, two meter USB-C uh, to C cable uh, with that charger. Good to know and very handy. You also have the Surface uh, Duo 2 bumpers that are sold separately. So those are go just going to go around the edges here. Uh, a good accessory uh, to protect uh, your device. And there are other things, audio accessories like the Surface earbuds that you can also find on our website. Um, which of course pair very well uh, with this in order to keep your hands free if you're calling. Now, I, I really love um, that Microsoft uh, tries to do something different here in terms of uh, mobile devices like this one um, with the whole dual screen setup. They have made a little bit of a bet, I think, with uh, version one. But now with version two, we can see that it's really refined. They, they really listened to all the comments that people had about the device and improved on so uh, many levels. And I think it really has its charm um, 
I have to say, if you uh, walk around with it, people definitely notice it. Uh, so also as a reseller, it, you can make yourself stand out from the competition uh, because this is such a unique device. All the slate uh, type, um, uh, let's say iPhone type clone uh, devices, they are so ubiquitously um, available in the market and this is really something that stands out. So that being said, you can order it on our website at IM Online. Um, it is live on the website. We do have stock of the units even uh, as well. Uh, you can get a demo unit as you're, for, as you, if you are an official uh, service reseller, you can get a demo unit at 50% off. You can reach us by using the mailbox surface.be at ingrammicro.com. If you have any product questions or maybe other projects or opportunities you'd like to talk to us about. Another really cool thing I have to share is that we have a brand new Surface uh, website at Ingram. It's bit.ly slash imsurface. You can find the overview of the whole portfolio there um, of Surface with the accessories and direct links to IM online. Uh, you can find all the current Surface promotions, a nice overview, uh, some info on the pricing, how you can get a special pricing or a deal registration uh, via Microsoft how to become a Surface partner and also how to get in touch with us, the Surface team at Ingram Micro. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, view on the uh, Surface Duo 2 and you like and share this video. And uh, lastly, a big thank you to Microsoft for sending me uh, this device. Thank you and on to the next one.